there's an insurrection going on right here on the Russian River. Of independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident. The county and all these powers that be want to call us part of Monte Rio, uh, which we don't agree with. Every 4th of July, we secede from Monte Rio. After declaring their defiant stance against the tyranny of Monte Rio, the residents hold a riotous march through town. And who is leading this revolt? Hi, I'm Roberto Esteves. I am the executive director of the Friends of Villa Grande. Well, I'm Rich Homer. I've lived here since 1979. Yeah, we're, we're in the process now of trying to petition the county to set up a community ID for Villa Grande. Of course, part of the problem with that is getting everybody to agree on what's Villa Grande, and mm -hmm. nobody in Villa Grande ever agrees on anything. <laughs> Not even how to pronounce the name. Pronunciation of Villa Grande. Uh, everybody I know has said Villa Grande. Back in the 80s, we had a bootleg radio station. Each disc jockey said it differently. <laughs> it was Villa Grande, Villa Grande, you know. <laughs> <laughs> The town originally was called Mesa Grande because it was on a large flat surface and we had the trains coming and there was a spur to the narrow gauge that actually came down River Road. And uh, there was a little sawmill here too. So Mesa Grande was the flatland. And then in about 1906, they added the terraces. Then in 1921, they changed the name to Granville. And then they found out that there was another town in California called Granville, and so they flipped the name Granville and it became Villa Grande. Through all of the name changes, what did not change was the resilience and determination to keep their identity and pony up when things were needed. They actually did their own fundraising for any things that the town needed. Every week there was a whist game. Current fundraising has gone way beyond card games. We literally incorporated the town as a nonprofit organization. A move that allowed the purchase of a swath of riverfront land they named Patterson Point Preserved. It's one of the, the things that has bound the community together. We all have the focus on saving the land and actually restoring the land. And we've also done that with the firehouse. Equally important was the effort to keep the post office operating while other river communities were losing theirs. Hi, hon. Hi, what are you up to? Oh, just wandering through the town. And that idea of having a front porch where you could see people and talk to people is very much how it is today. And the other thing they did is they actually built a sense of community that has existed to this day. This town of Villa Grande still entertains itself. Too hot, hot damn. Call police and the fireman. Exhibit A the annual Villa Grande Talent Show. 